Okay, hi. It's still March. I'm going to try to do this quick because I don't have a lot of battery. Still March 17th. I just finished trying to meditate, but I was more praying. <laughs> and my thoughts were just kind of going in response to like... I got a message yesterday and I'm trying to figure out how to respond to it. But I've noticed that when I can't sit with it, I can't like see the light. It's because something's going to happen like that's going to interfere interfere with that process sure enough I get a phone call um I get a phone call from someone and and this person has been really struggling okay it's my dad <laughs> and he's really really struggling emotionally and, and just with health issues and and I shared something with him uh two days ago and I didn't hear back and I was, I was gonna reach out and, and he reached out with a story. <laughs> My dad's a really great storyteller. And and he reaches out and he's just like, I have to tell you something. Do you have a minute? I was like, sure. And so he's telling me of this weird experience that he had this morning where the phone rang once, just once, and then it stopped. And then it rang again twice, and then stopped. And then another, a third time, and then it stopped. And he's like, it only rang once. And every time I reached for it, it stopped ringing. And then he said something that it didn't have a name. It just said something, something, and, 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 and he's just like, I don't know what that means. So I tried calling it and, and it was like a voice machine that said, you know, this number is out of service, uh, T-Mobile, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I think it's T-Mobile. And then he said to, it said to dial 611. So he dials 601 and it takes him to his like phone operator and thing, blah, blah, blah. And then the guy says, well, everything's fine on our end. Your account is up to date. Like there's no issues. And then the guy said, well, did you get a chance to see what number it dialed when you dialed back? He's like, no, I didn't. And so he looks and, and then it says 666. So my dad starts freaking out. He's just like, oh, you know, everyone thinks 666 is like the devil number, but it really isn't. It's an angel number. And so, um, he calls me he's just like what does that mean he's like and then he said instinctively i thought i need to call you b like he that he's just like there was this pull there's this pull i didn't want to bother you but the pull was there so i called so i read him the angel number to 666 which will be included in the link here and and then he starts telling me he's just like that's so crazy i that totally resonates with what's going on with me and and i was thinking about what you said in your other message so he's like it really it really brought me hope it really you know it lifted me up he's like and you don't know how much it lifted me up so thank you for that and I was just like blown away I was like that's so neat I'm like and I told him I'm like when you feel that inclination that's that's the universe telling you like that's what you need to follow right it's you practicing to to listen to that again and just follow it I'm like follow it follow it just follow it wherever it takes you um pay attention to that pull and and so and the funny thing is that it showed up in my oracle reading for today. I mentioned that like my spread is it, it connects to the people that I interact with. And I was reading it's Wednesday today. So I was looking at my midday and it talks about like being of support to others and, and you know, um, support is all around you and and you know sometimes these messages come in the smallest things it could be a stranger signs just letting you know that you're in the right direction and then it says be open to receiving love from others you are a healing loving force for others so i thought that was really neat and then the oracle card was connection <laughs> which i mentioned like this whole full moon in pisces is about healing these connections right and, and i mentioned how the relationship with my dad was one that I had yet to kind of follow up with to heal. And I told my dad, I'm like, he's like, it's so weird. I'm like, but it's a cool weird, right? Like totally cool weird. <laughs> he's just like, it's just weird. <laughs> and my dad has had some really like bizarre stories in his life. And I told him like, maybe you should write a book of like all your bizarre stories. Like I would tell like, He's just a really good storyteller. Um, and, and I'm like, you could, you know, he's having eyesight issues right now. So I'm like, you could record yourself, you know, and do voice attacks and share all those experiences that you've had. Like, you have some stories to share and the world needs to hear it. So it really uplifted him. And 
It's so cool to see that, you know? It's cool to see that. <sighs> That's it. All right, I gotta get ready. I have a lot of stuff to do. I need to read. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at. Um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know great. <laughs> um, again if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth. We realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just, just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.